Hello everyone. Now in this video we are going to draw the uh, first angle projection of uh, the isometric view that is given to us. So uh, we are going to assume uh, one side for uh, this side A for front view and side B for uh, side view. So uh, we need to draw the projection of this particular isometric drawing. So we need front view, we need side view and we need the top view. So without further delay let's start drawing. Now isometric views they need isoplanes but these orthographic projections we don't need any kind of uh, isoplane or uh, isometric grafting. So we are going to uh, check whether we are in uh, basically simple grid or not okay and we are going to start with x lines. Now these x lines we are going to use for uh, the purpose of separating our views. So we need two lines this one and this one and enter. So basically these are for separation. Now in first angle projection front view will be drawn above x y line and top view will be below x y line and left side view of uh, any front view basic uh, sorry left side view of any isometric drawing in first angle projection will be drawn on the right side okay and uh, in third angle uh, projection the scenario is totally opposite. So in uh, both of the cases either you are drawing in first angle or you are drawing in third angle projection the first view that you should draw is front view okay. So uh, if we take a look at the front view of uh, by uh, taking a look at this particular drawing you will see that uh, there are lines like 38 and then 28 and then 18 basically this C face will be visible to you F will be visible to you and G will be visible to you. So 38, 28, 18 and height is 20 units. So I am going to start from this particular corner. So select a line, start from uh, a point, suppose that uh, I am starting from uh, 20, 20, okay. So I am starting from 20, 20. Now in this side it is 38, 38 first, enter. Then next one uh, just take a look at this drawing 28 and 18. So in horizontal side 28 and then 18 in this side okay after that height should be 20 units press enter then uh, we are going to move in this side again 18 then 28 and then in the same side we are going to move for 38 units press enter now take a look we have drawn the lower uh, bottom of this one so height should be 40 and then this side should be 20 units okay. So uh, this total height in this side it should be 40 units press enter and in this side it should be 20 units and enter. Now this should be added with the side uh, basically 38 side so this one okay and then you need to join till the bottom then uh, after reaching 28 units you should have this particular view as well okay so the lines uh, they are not properly visible so i'm going to increase their line weight to 0.4 and uh, click on display line weight so that these views are properly visible so you click okay now this is the projection this is the front view okay now we need to trim this particular line because this will not be visible to you so this is these are the faces that will be visible to us okay now I'm turning off the grid so that uh, things can be a little bit clearer. Okay, so select ray command and draw projection lines starting from these corner points. Repeat ray, start from this one, now draw it like this, right click, repeat ray, start from this particular corner, draw in this side as well as in this side, press enter, repeat the same ray command like this okay, in this side we already have repeat ray start from this point in this direction as well as in this direction okay so basically we are done with the front view now top view will be drawn just below the front view so uh, just take a look at our isometric drawing okay uh, it's a little bit far so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select it and move it a little bit so select move okay start from uh, you click on move 
specify this point as the base point and shift it here so that things are a little bit clearer and reduce the size so that we don't need to worry about uh, moving again and again. Now in top view face A, B and D will be visible. So these are the things that will be visible. So first face will be A. So I'm going to start a line. Okay. And uh, start a line. Start from any point and draw it like this. Okay. Now this is an arbit arbitrary line that I have drawn. Now this side it should be 20 units. Press enter. Then in this side basically it should go till 50 units. So 5, 0 and angle should be 0 degree. Press enter. Okay, not 5, 0. Wait for a moment. Uh, basically in our front view what will be visible to us? Uh, front view is from side A. So we are shifting from side A to side C. Okay. So uh, what what are the things that will be visible to us? Basically side A, uh, phase A will be visible in this point only, in this particular section. Then D point, D section will be visible like this one. Okay. In this side and at a lower end B will be visible. Okay. So repeat line, start arbitrarily from any point. Okay, so I'm starting it from here like this. Okay, now uh, increase the line weight so that we are uh, getting everything. Now in this side it should go till 50 units, press enter. Then in this side, uh, after 50 the next thing that we need is in this side it should go till 20 units, press enter. Then again 50 and then join. So this is the A phase that we have drawn here. Now we are going for the phase B. So in this side again it will be 50, press enter. In this side it will be 18, press enter. Now internal this should be 28 units, enter. Again in this side it will be 28 units, press enter. Then uh, basically we need to join for uh, 28 in this side and then join with this one and uh, this one 28 and join with this one. So this is how the top view will be visible to us. Now without further delay we are going to start with ray command starting from every single corner. Okay. So select ray specify the uh, line weight as 0 and draw rays like this. So repeat start from this corner like this enter repeat start from this point and draw it like this now we are done with front view and top view so side view right side view will be drawn on the left side as per the convention in first angle projection so we are going to draw the left side view on this particular side but for that we need to basically bend these uh, lines. So what we are going to do is we are going to trim the non-required lines. So trim them and we will rotate lines from here. So we are going to use arc command for that. Arc start center and end. So basically we need to start an arc from here. This should be the center and this point should be the end. But arc is in uh, arc is being drawn in opposite side. So press control and its direction will be shifted. Okay. So we are done. So for the next uh, values you can uh, use offset command and specify these distances as offset distance like this. Right click, enter, select offset again, specify offset distance as this much and click on this curve and draw it like this. Now again use ray command, R-A-Y, press enter, start a ray from this point and draw it vertically upwards. Repeat, start from here upwards, repeat, start from this point and upwards. Now we have received an area. So uh, first we are going to change the line weight of these lines that are separating our uh, values, our uh, views. Okay. Now trim the non-required portion, trim these lines, Control Z, trim these lines and these lines. Now we have got a section. This is the section that will be visible to 
us in the side view okay so basically if we select a line so how the things will be visible to us so this is the first face uh, side edge that will be visible to us okay after that in this side this one will be B side that will be visible to us okay and uh, this one will be 20 units this is the uh, face K that will be visible to us okay trim the non required portion press enter right click remove these so these are the uh, this is the first angle projection of um, the given drawing okay next thing that we are going to do is we are going to provide dimensions so for dimensioning there is one thing that you should uh, always keep in mind that all the dimensions they should be out of your uh, drawing okay so you, you should not uh, make a clutter of these dimensions so that is something that you need to take care of so we are going to provide dimensions like this now in certain cases like uh, you are not able to provide it here so you can use this side and provide dimensions like this in this side as well so start from repeat dim start from this particular corner and till this corner then start from this corner repeat dim so this is how you can provide the dimensions to all the drawings and after uh, drawing them you can use a line command as well so so that all of them they are in proper alignment okay so just select a line then select a base dimension this one and then select all the dimensions to align with and press enter and all of them are they are in proper alignment now so this is how you can draw the orthographic projection from an isometric projection so select all of these dimensions right click and select similar all the dimensions are selected change their color to red and just take a look this is what you needed to draw at the starting and then you can move this particular uh, diagram so by using move command so that they are in proper alignment also we can trim the non required line in this side so trim this one trim this one as well this one as well and this one as well so uh, that's all for this particular drawing thank you very much and have a nice day